Hey guys! I am so excited. It's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial. Today what I'm going to do is a Hills inspired makeup tutorial. So the Hills comeback or return, whatever they're, new beginnings, the Hills new beginnings. That's what the hashtag is. That's what they're calling it. So that started on Monday. Today is Thursday and I always pay attention to um, fashion and makeup when I'm watching reality TV shows. It always, it, I always pull inspiration. It's like a walking fashion show for me. That's one of the reasons why I watch reality TV and why I like it. So I was really inspired by the episode, the first episode. Let me know what you guys thought of the first episode in the comments. And if you're a Hills fan like me, I'm going to start. I've already washed and moisturized my skin today, but it's a couple hours. I've been doing some things around the house, so I'm going to rehydrate. And this is also something you can use as a primer, it says, but this is Embroil Lace. I'm saying that wrong. Lay Cream. And you can buy this at Shoppers, but I've been using this cream. I've repurchased it a few times. You can use it as a cold cream to remove your makeup. You can use it as a primer base. You can use it as a moisturizer, which is normally how I use it, but I'm just gonna rehydrate my skin before I do my makeup today because I'm gonna be doing full coverage base and I've got some new makeup from Carol Baker Visage from the Wild Beauty Collection, which I am super excited. A little bit of primer, I'm using the Liz Boitier Base Miracle Primer. So again, we're helping everything to stay in place because it's finally summer and it's sweaty, which I like, but I want my makeup to stay on. For my foundation, I am using Urban Decay All Nighter, my favorite full coverage foundation, and I'm gonna try shade 6.5 for my tan because I've been working on my self tanner. I really like this color. I think we did good with this color. I'm gonna do a little concealer. I'm just gonna go light on the concealer because I'm gonna use my regular natural, light natural um, Tarte Shape Tape. And it's quite light compared to the tan. But I'm just gonna blend it and make it work. I didn't wanna go crazy and buy it. Another concealer, I figured I can blend. You know what, I like a really bright under, under eye anyways, so I was like, I'll just use a little bit less and just blend it and make it work. I'm gonna set my under eye with Carol Baker Visage Translucent Powder. I'm gonna use the color Nutmeg. The Translucent Powder is also gonna make it more of like a subtle highlight. And then I just set the areas in my T-zone with this powder as well that are going to get more oily throughout the day. So just basically down the center of my face. So center of my forehead, my nose, my upper lip, and my chin. These new Carol Baker Visage products from the Wild Beauty Collection. I have not tried them yet. So I'm going to go into the Brazen Glow Bronzer first. This bronzer is a deep bronze and it has a frost to it and it has gold flecks in it. Sorry, it doesn't have a frost. It's got gold, little tiny gold flecks in it though. And I'm going to use this to bronze and to contour. So I've got an angle brush and I'm just going from like the top of my ear here down. Mmm, that color is really pretty for bronzing the skin. So I really want like a bronze. I don't, this is going to like contour and bronze my skin at the same time. So I'm going to do those like general areas where I normally contour. I find this helps when you do your neck here, like with your bronzer, it brings it all together really nicely into your decollete. This is really pretty. They have, so with the Wild Beauty Kit, 
They have the quad, which I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to use, and it's a blush shadow quad, which I love any sort of multi-purpose product in the summer when you're traveling and stuff like that. If you can just bring one palette and it works for so many different things amazing i think this is good like you don't need a lot of product you can see this is like really bronzing my skin and giving me a little bit of dimension in my cheeks i think we're done with that there's beautiful big mirrors in all of these compacts which is amazing this is the blush shadow palette you've got like a really nice frosty highlighter you've got a pink tone you've got a taupe taupey bronze and then you've got like a golden bronze so what i'm going to do to finish my face is use this pink color on my cheeks as my blush. So I'm gonna blend this and start from the apples of my cheeks. And I love any kind of like frost and shine in the summer to just give your skin that glow. How pretty is that? It's like catching the light. I don't always want like a ton of color on my cheeks when I'm going like more bronzy and glowy. Those LA girls were wearing like some really pretty pink tones on their eyelids as well. Um, but their skin was just really beautiful. Bronze, glowy was the main thing with their skin. So that's what I'm going for for my LA Hills inspired skin look. Next what I'm gonna do is um, carefully take my fan brush and I'm going to dip into this light color and we're gonna just kinda see what this looks like. Um, dusting this on my cheeks and see if I need to oh yeah so I'm gonna highlight my nose I literally just go like this boom 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 for the center of my face to get that nose glow now I might have got aggressive with the nose so we're gonna go with the gold over top, see how that looks, to just like dye it down a little bit. But once I get other makeup on, it will soften. Or you can just take your makeup sponge and just, okay, good. I'm gonna take the gold, because I don't really want my decolletage to be lighter, but I'm gonna take that gold color in the palette and I'm gonna go across my collarbone here and it's just gonna catch the high points. Um, I would love to know if you guys love any like, and you can hit your shoulders too, right? Date night or something, hit those shoulders, get the glow going, like don't hold back with your highlighter in the summertime. When you got that skin out, just like get everything glowing. Brows really quick. I'm trying out a new product because I needed some new brow product. So this one is Balm Cosmetics and this is called Ferocious Brow Pencil and it's in dark brown. So I don't always do like the feathery strokes first. I kind of like to do a little outline and then just like fill it in. Pretty good. I'm going to go back into the quad and I'm going to take one of my highlighter shadow brushes this one's a carol baker visage brush they have excellent brushes at carol baker visage okay and i'm going to take that highlight all over the lid so i love the other thing that i love and i did a, i do a makeup tutorial kind of like this it's like some version of this every summer when my skin is bronzed I always love frosty eyes, frosty lips, and that glowy skin and glowy cheek. I just think it looks so pretty. Okay, so keeping the cast of the hills in mind, like I said, I was paying attention and a lot of the girls had, it wasn't like dark dramatic makeup a lot of the time. I think maybe for like a couple night scenes they had more dram dramatic. But what they were really rocking is like color on the lid, like a peach, a coral, and there was glitter. So I'm going to do a little bit of glitter as well. So I've got my highlighter on. And then what I'm going to do is take a smaller brush and I am going to dip into the pink, the pink tone. And I'm going to sweep that across my lid. So from the lash line, and then I'm going to take it a little bit into the crease. 
These colors, when they're frosty, I actually think frosty is easier to work with. And some of you are going to maybe ask like, oh, my eyelids are a little bit crepey. Can I wear frosty eyeshadow? I personally think there are no rules when it comes to fashion and beauty. You wear whatever makes you feel good. I am going to always wear whatever makeup I desire. It doesn't matter how old I am or like what my skin looks like if I am still into full coverage foundation and my skin is wrinkly, I'm gonna still wear it. So you do you, you do what you wanna do. Don't worry about those rules. If it makes you feel good with the makeup, just, just try it out, wear it. Okay, so we got the peach going on, that pink tone, lash line, two crease, and then I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna do a little bit of that darker bronze because I haven't used that yet. So I'm gonna try that. This is gonna be a really pretty taupe, I just know it. Topi bronze. I really like it. It's like a cool tone bronze. You could even use this on your cheeks, I think. Okay, that is pretty. So we're taking that into the crease. I'm just literally using the same brush. It's not dark. It just adds like the tiniest bit of depth and another color to the lid, which is really nice. When I do crease, I just go from the inner like corner of the brow Go like that, okay? Good, I like that. Then what I like to do sometimes is take my highlighter brush and go back to the top and just soften the edges. I'm gonna do liner on my waterline, so my top waterline. And the way that I do that is I just close my eyelid to the liner and then I just like rub it on. So my eyes are closed, I'm just rubbing the liner on the inside Waterline, I am gonna do false lashes today. So I find doing this step really makes um, the lashes look more blended with my natural lash line. And then I'm just gonna do a small pencil line across the top as well. Is I always do my mascara first before I do my false lashes too. So I'm gonna do that. I wanna add a little bit of gold glitter and because we're going with those like bronzy rose gold beautiful tones we're going to use rose gold retro and this is one of the stellar glitters so what i always do with these is like apply them and then just try to leave my eye like this so that it can dry without creasing but once these do dry they are excellent they stay in place uh, lip liner, we're going to do Naked from Carol Baker Visage. This is one of their uh, lip liners. So this lip liner is Naked, so you guys can tell. It's just super subtle, which is what I want for this gloss. And I'm just going to... Okay, so I have been working on my overlined lip. And it's really working nicely with a more natural shade. So what I did is I colored in between my Cupid's bow. So you can see it kind of lifts the top of my lip. And I just overline the edges over here a little bit. And then overline the bottom center to create like a little bit of shadow there. I have high hopes that this gloss is going to be so dreamy and pretty. So the color I'm using is Rose Quartz and it's a really pretty light pink and there's like flecks of glitter in it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so perfect for like making your tan pop. This is LA Girl, LA Hills vibes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop up, pop on some eyelashes to finish the look. I always do my eyelashes last, then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished look. What I'm going to do is these are um, a brand that Carol Baker Visage carries. You can buy them to do the lashes at home, or you can add this to your makeup uh, application in store. 
So gin and tonic is the style that I have to try out today, but I'm going to film a separate video with tips on false eyelash application for the Carol Baker Visage Sarnia IGTV channel, which I will link below. So if you're interested in false eyelash tips specifically, you can check out that video. So I'm going to go put these on, film that separately, and then come back and show you guys the finished look. My false lashes are on. And this adds the perfect touch of like LA glam to this bronze glowy look. I just love what false lashes do for a makeup look. Like these are magic. So if you guys want tips and details on these false lashes and how I apply false lashes, then you're gonna wanna check out the Carol Baker Visage Sarnia Instagram, which I will link below. So you guys can check out that IGTV video. You're gonna love it. It's quick, lots of great tips. What I have collected over the last four years of doing makeup. So eyelashes are on. The final touch, my makeup is done, is to set my makeup. And I'm gonna use the setting spray from Carol Baker Visage. This is a new summer product for them as well. And I will just miss myself. I have tried, I'm gonna say like five to seven different setting sprays over the last little while. So I've tried MAC Fix Plus, I've tried Urban Decay Setting Spray, I've tried the Pixie Setting Spray, I've tried the Maybelline Infallible Setting Spray, and this one, maybe that's it. So maybe like four or five. Okay, so I've had four or five different setting sprays. The Urban Decay, um, setting spray the all-nighter was my top like and then I would say for the lower price uh, Maybelline infallible I was disappointed extremely disappointed by Mac fix plus that one did nothing for me and I also in my experience with setting sprays the mister this this nozzle here the way that it disperses the setting spray is crucial so the Mac Fix Plus for me, I felt like the, the sprayer didn't work. So maybe I just got like a random one or something like that, but the product wasn't that great either. The sprayer on this is unbelievable. I am amazed by the setting spray mister of the Carol Baker Visage setting spray. It is so wonderful. You guys could see it just like totally lightly miss it. I can't get enough of it. And I'm going to say that this is better than the Urban Decay All Nighter. That used to be my favorite. This setting spray is my new favorite setting spray. Carol Baker Visage Finishing Mist. It's a good one. If you're a makeup wearer and you like to do that setting spray step, you gotta, you gotta try it. I also used to think like setting spray, what's the big deal? It keeps your makeup in place, but the other thing that I love about it is someone who wears like layers of makeup, whether it be like your primer, then you've got your foundation, your powders, your concealers, everything, your blushes, your bronzers, your contour, all that stuff, right? I know I put a lot of makeup on. What I love about a setting spray that I didn't really realize that it did or that maybe people don't talk about as much is it kind of like melts everything together so that you don't necessarily look like you have layers of makeup on your face. So when you do the setting spray, it just kind of melts it all together in this beautiful way. Okay, that's the look, inspired by the hills. I wanna hear your thoughts below. Have you tried this collection? Do you have a Carol Baker in your city? If you guys um, live in a different city, are you gonna go check it out? What do you think about the hills? Follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be talking about it this season because I'm excited and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I love you. Thank you for being here with me.